so here we are, the finale of Arrow Season 4, Schism. This season has been great. It has been fantastic. Now, the thing that's been criticized about Arrow Season 3 and that I've openly criticized is it didn't end on a good note. And despite all the reviewers who hated Schism, I, for one, enjoyed this episode despite its various flaws. Now, I'll talk about more in my season review the flaws of this episode because this season really shows the best of Arrow Season 4, and it shows the worst. And let's start with the best. So, this episode really... It, Damien Dark's performance does not go away as far as it's... Uh, Mino McDonald's Damien, performance as Damien Dark does not lessen in this episode. It accelerates. He is electric in every scene he's in. He is fantastic. And he is... Honestly, I, I love his performance in this episode. And Oliver's choice about that he has to make about killing Damien Dark is actually great. It's thought-provoking, you know. Do you kill this guy who has killed millions of others, or thousands of others with a nuke? Do you kill this guy who's about to destroy the world and doesn't care about anything? Because Oliver has to juggle with the light and the dark, and really that's been the theme this season. I know the Arrow writers have said this is a theme, and it's really well portrayed in this episode. Um... Not only that, but I would say that the fight scene in the Arrow Cave where Damien Dark's men, hive men come in, it was actually really cool. And, you know, I've heard it criticized for the views they were getting with the camera and certain aspects of it, but I actually found that to be very entertaining. Now, the there were certain scenes that were just downright shouldn't have belonged. And let's talk about them because, you know... If we don't talk about them, then, you know, how will uh, the Arrow writers know? And so, firstly, I would talk, like to talk about how the um, the street fight went down with Oliver and Damien Dark's men. And I'm going to talk about how he was, he was entertaining, but at the same time, could have been done way better. So, the fight went down pretty much like this. Oliver charged in with the people. Um... Damien Dark charged him with his man, and they started fist fighting. Now, it's cool, because Damien Dark, of course, does not need weapons, right? And, of course, Oliver can, you know, throw off his powers now with his... Since he's uh, been taught the uh, how to control his... Um, how to stop his powers. But Damien Dark's men had guns, and they didn't open fire on the... on Oliver or any of the crowd. Now... I remember distinctly in season two's finale, whenever uh, Slade Wilson's men were fighting Team Arrow, they used their guns, they used their swords, they used everything that they had on them to fight the people. And the thing is, and the people from Nana Bat, and the thing is, why not use your guns? Why charge in? It just seemed so far-fetched to me. It seemed so ridiculous that I was just wondering, I was like, what's this? What is going on? And honestly, that was the part that annoyed me the most. Now, the flashbacks, they were not wrapped up in the best way, but they weren't wrapped up in the worst way. Now, I will say that the person who plays Talia, her performance was cringeworthy. It was terrible, but Oliver having to put her down was a little bit emotional. And I will say that it wasn't as bad as people say it was. Not only that, I will defend the um conclusion of the flashbacks because Talia said for Oliver to go to Russia to resolve things and that's great you know why because in season five we're going to get those awesome scenes where Oliver we figure out how he joins the Bratva and I, I hope that goes well but I really uh thought that she was over the top and she wasn't very good at acting but I thought that they wrapped up nice with Amanda Waller giving taking away the statue and Oliver going to Russia. I thought it was a nice way to tie the bow on them. And the thing is that another thing that annoyed me though, the nukes. They were the nuke headed to Star City. When Oliver gave his speech, yes, it was arousing. Yes, it was great. But how was that going to stop a nuke? Felicity and then Felicity and Curtis just stopped the nuke like it's nothing. They could have done something far more interesting. Um to stop the nuke. I mean, this was a nuclear apocalypse that was going to happen. And they didn't stretch out, you know, they didn't stop it with something awesome. It was more just, oh, let's point this thing at this guy and it'll stop. You know, they could have done so much more. 
so much more. Now, Oliver's job, Oliver getting the mayoral job at the end of the episode was great. And I love the scene of him entering. And I think that it was, it was cool. And I think, and I know that this episode is not as bad as everybody is saying. Look look at this review for a second. IGN, well, I'll tell you about the review. IGN said this episode was awful. Give it a 3.8. That is ridiculous. I am sorry. This episode does not deserve a 3.8. Yes, there were things that were awful about this episode that you should over... Or, I mean, that you shouldn't overlook, that you should tell the Arrow writers about so they can improve. But think about the good. The flashbacks, they wrapped up in a cool way, you know, or, I mean, in, with a nice bow. Oliver becomes mayor. Uh, Neil McDonald's performance didn't get bad. They may have done some dumb stuff with his henchmen, but that's not terrible. Uh, Oliver's speech, while it was, while it was, you know, not going to stop the nukes, was still provocative and still cool. And his fight with Amy and Dark was cool, and the whole light versus the dark theme was cool. I think that they just, reviewers just in general, they overlook the positives, and they just look at the negatives. And I honestly think that this finale was better than season three's. And people say it's worse, but I think it was better. I would give this episode a, let's, this is a hard one. But I'd give it a 7.5. Let's give it a 7.5, because there were issues that were terrible but there were great points to this episode and i really think that if you know they could have done it better they could have done it worse but either way it does wrap up season four nicely despite the burning annoying things with it it's still fun still enjoyable so I'd give Schism, the finale, episode 23 of season 4 of Arrow, a 7.5 out of 10. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope you've enjoyed all my season reviews. I'll have links to them in the description and to the season review. Um, like and subscribe for more content and videos. Uh, this has been Jonesy from Jonesy TV signing off.